I want to move now to the president's national declaration of a national emergency to get funding for the wall. You opposed that move. What is your beef with it? I am strongly opposed to the president invoking his national emergency powers. I don't believe that's what the law was intended to cover. The president is repurposing billions of dollars that were approved by Congress for other projects, not for this project. And for him to do that completely undermines the role of Congress, the appropriations process, and I believe is of dubious constitutionality. If the president so wants more decide. funding for the wall, he should work with Congress through the normal appropriations process. So I support the lawsuit that has been brought and I believe that this was an unwise decision by the president. We just want to tell our, our viewers a little bit about the lawsuit. Maine has now signed on to that lawsuit. 16 states in total have done so. Now, Maine's Attorney General Aaron Fry says he was contacted by the California, California Attorney General's office to ask if Maine would join the suit. He says the decision really wasn't difficult for him. I, the state of Maine has very significant concerns a, about the unconstitutionality of the actions that are being taken by the president, uh, and also because the state of Maine has about $160 million of funding that Congress has appropriated that is now vulnerable to the president sweeping that for a project that is not that was vetted by Congress but not approved by Congress. So Attorney General Fry said that there will be little or no cost to the state as a result of this. And he said he did talk with the governor's office about it, but that it was his decision to do that. You support this move. Do you think it'll do any good, though? I do. I would not be at all surprised if the courts find that the president's action is contrary to the separation of powers laid out in our Constitution under Article One. It is the Congress that has the right to control the purse, to appropriate funds. And keep in mind that the president has signed the laws appropriating these funds. So I don't think under the Constitution that he can unilaterally decide to move these funds, which were legally appropriated from one project to another, unless there is unless there are grounds under the National Emergency Act, which usually covers either catastrophic events like the attacks on our country on 9-11 or severe natural disasters. All right, Senator Susan Collins, thank you so much for taking the time tonight. We really appreciate it. Thank you, Cindy.